Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll talk to her later. While from the backyard of his upmarket Runda residence, the man who was until the 4th of August this year Prime Minister Raila Odinga's advisor on coalition affairs finally responds to a decision reached by the Prime Minister's office on the 28th of December to reinstate him. I hereby announce that by a letter dated today's date and delivered to the Prime Minister already, I have declined to accept the decision to reinstate me on terms and conditions contained in the letter by one Abdul Muasera. It was a decision that was reached following the completion of investigations that cleared him on the allegations of gross misconduct. Miguna Miguna, though having welcomed the move, terming it as timely, requested to be given time to carefully analyze the details behind his reinstatement. Two days after receiving the reinstatement offer, and now Miguna, having carefully analyzed the terms and conditions attached, says they do not reflect those he discussed with the Premier just a few days before at the Serena Hotel, where, in the presence of a mutual friend, they, for three hours, discussed amicable terms and conditions. It was the Prime Minister who called me personally and requested for the meeting. Unfortunately, the statement that was released by Juan Carolio Mondi on behalf of the Prime Minister on December 28, 2011, 24 hours after our agreement, did not accurately reflect and adhere to the terms of our agreement. It is a decision the office of the Premier says it will accept, revealing that, in fact, Miguna's previous contract had expired and he was subsequently required to sign another contract Tuesday that would have recognized him as a civil servant in line with established procedure. The office father says it had received no communication from Miguna regarding his concerns before today's decision. Miguna, however, does not concur. Unfortunately, as of the time of this press conference, my letters and subsequent short text messages to both Mr. Mondi and to the Prime Minister have not been responded to. Today's announcement was one many had been anticipating, especially in light of Miguna's recent public altercations with the Premier. This is a person who is supposed to represent change, real change. And here I am being subjected to what you would call the most barbaric kind of treatment imaginable. You'd expect this in Gestapo, Germany. Mm. You don't expect this in modern Kenya. A defiant Miguna who maintains that the letter he received informing him that he had been cleared of the gross misconduct charges and consequent return to work was more of a warning letter than a reinstatement letter, terms betrayal and deceit as the greatest reasons behind his decision. I cross all the T's and dot all the I's. And once I have made my decisions, I stick with them, come rain or high water. A stand that further complicates the already strained relations. Evelyn Wamboy, Citizen Weekend.